Hello, welcome to The Wild Review. I'm The Wild Reviewer, and today I'm going to review a thing. So, I've given my opinion on some movies that I've seen in the past and kind of recently. I've given my opinion on some episodes of some television shows that I can't stand whatsoever, and I've also given my opinion on some shows or those shows that are connected to those bad episodes. So what else in the TV world am I missing out on? What haven't I talked about yet? Oh yeah, I'm going to be talking about some com commercials. No, that's not the name. Where is it? Hold on. Ah, yeah. Not commercials. I'm going to be talking about infomercials. You know, those commercials with really bad actors. Don't act like you haven't seen them on television. They're those kind of commercials that try to trick you into buying a product that they say is totally amazing, when really it might be utter crap and also useless. Infomercials are also kind of funny to watch, seeing on how idiotic these actors are getting paid to act. Wait, did that come out right? Okay, take two. Infomercials have people that are acting to act really stupid, like, so they get money. Okay, well, um, if you don't know what an infomercial, this is kind of the, this is kind of the format that it would be in. It's pretty hot outside, and your fan isn't working properly. You try to open windows, but you can't spare the time because of all that heat that's coming into your body. So what do you think you're gonna do? Quit? Yeah! <laughs> well, don't. I have a solution. Introducing the Fan Stick. It's an instant cooling technique kind of machine thing that instantly gets rid of the heat inside of your body. It's a lot of money and a total waste of crap, so I suggest you order one now, because it makes life better. It's the best thing that was ever created. Wait, what are we talking about again? So order now. We're not in source, so you gotta call the number. Or else. So I'm pretty sure you would get the idea. They get some people to act like that the product that they recently used is utter crap, and that's why they need this new product that they're mostly focusing on. So, what's my problem with them? Because, you know, I probably have a problem with them. Well, for one thing, they're not as good. I mean, the product can surprisingly be pretty useful, but, I mean, acting-wise in the commercial, the way they're presenting it, I don't think it's amusing. Well, it's amusing to watch because it's utterly hilarious and idiotic the way they're presenting it. So as I was browsing the internet, I managed to find four infomercials that I would like to talk about uh, and basically just give my opinion on it because why not? It's something to talk about. Now keep in mind, I will not only be talking about the product they are trying to sell, whether I think it, it's a good idea or whether it's just a really stupid product they're trying to sell. I won't just be talking about that. I'm also going to be talking about how the acting is in these commercials to see how people are reacting to these products and how they react to their old products. So let's not waste any more time. I'm pretty sure watching this video you're going to waste time anyway. <laughs> Subscribe, please. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into our first infomercial, the Euro Club. Drank a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. It looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak-proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Order now the Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Okay. Why? Okay, first off, let's talk about the man who's in the commercial. Well, it looks like he's playing golf, but he doesn't hit a ball, and he's waving to people that are off screen. I think it would have been a better idea to physically have the people on screen. Or did you not have the money to actually hire other actors? My second note is... <laughs> product are you trying to sell here? A portable bathroom? Sure, that's pretty handy, but I mean, like, you might need a little more room than a stick. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary... So sanitary? What about this is sanitary? It's the shape of a golf club. What if it gets filled? 
you know, what if you're just doing your business and out of nowhere it gets a little too full because you managed to spill out a whole lot of urine? Oh, this is so helpful. Oh, oh, I love the Euro Club. Wait, wait, oh, it's, it's filling up. Wait, oh no, oh, 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 it's all over the place. Oh, oh, my hands. There's not really much space if you're doing your business. And what if you don't have to just pee? What if you have to go number two as well? Where is that gonna go? The other end? I think that might be filled with all the urine that's in it. And if you think for one minute you're gonna pass this thing off for a good $24.95, you're out of your mind. This thing should only be like $5 because it's crap. I should also probably give my opinion on the guy who's narrating this all. Uh, that, uh, he just sounds like he's woken up. Drink a lot of water. I really have to go. I'm pretty sure the director said, okay, we need you on set, come on. And the guy was just so tired that they replaced him with a woman. I, I don't even think they wanted to redo the thing that he already spoke about. It's like, no, we don't have the money, so just go. My last note is that this is super embarrassing. I don't care how useful this thing is, it's pretty embarrassing to use. It's disgusting. What's sad is that this is probably a real product. If it's not a real product, then, uh, good. Just good. Order now. The Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. All right, in any case, let's just get that out of our minds and let's dive into the second infomercial that I found, the pocket chair. Tired of standing around? Want to get off your feet? Oh, those bulky folding chairs. How do you take a seat? Hi, Adam J here for the pocket chair. The convenient and compact chair that folds up and fits right in your pocket. The pocket chair opens in a snap and folds up with ease. Take a seat anywhere with the pocket chair. No more sitting on the ground, no more standing around, and no more folding chair frustration. The secret's in the dual action counter rotational support system. You can sit anywhere with the pocket chair. Put one in your pocket. Well, I don't really have a comment for this one. I mean, the product seems pretty legit. I mean, it's actually pretty handy and useful. It, it's like the next generation of lawn chairs. But who holds their lawn chairs like that? What kind of idiot would hold, like, I don't know, how many of their five or three? How, why would he hold so many in his hand and then hold so many on his back? What, what logic is that? I know this guy's probably in a rush somewhere, but I think it'd be more logical if you do two at a time. I mean, that's what I do. And I know the price seems promising, but I don't think this thing should go off for about $15. I think this should more be for, like, seven. Because... It's really nothing if you think about it. It's a chair that you can put in your pocket. <laughs> You're using it for one thing, to sit on. Unless, you know, there's that one jerk that decides to use it for other uses. In which case, it would make sense to make it $15. Okay, so I will admit the pocket chair is a pretty decent product. You know, there was nothing really wrong there. I really don't know how they managed to get on this list of unnecessary products. Is that even what we're talking about? So let's move on to our next infomercial, which is actually kind of recent. Ice cream magic. I'm hungry. There's nothing to eat. I'm bored. I want something sweet. Oh great. Kids are rhyming. We're in for something. Introducing ice cream magic. The cool new shaker that's an ice cream maker. Now you can make delicious homemade ice cream in three minutes. Machines are expensive and difficult to use, but ice cream... What the hell? Wait, what? What are all those machines for? Is that really how you make ice cream? I don't think Carvel has any of those things. Let me tell you a story. When I was young, uh, I would go to a camp, and this camp would have, like a whole different kind of specials, and one of the specials would be a science class. And we didn't learn science, we did fun experiments, and one of the experiments was making ice cream. And it wasn't much, and it actually was really good. The ice cream came out really well. It was just a ball, and like, it was a ball jar, and you put milk and cream and your flavor in it and you just roll it around that's all it took and it took about like 10 minutes and you open it and the ice cream was pretty decent 
What is this? I mean, this is probably the same thing, but I mean, three minutes? I don't think you make ice cream in three minutes. I mean, you might. I'm not an ice cream specialist, but it's unlikely. So let's see what you do. You put ice in, then you put salt for some reason, and then you put a bowl on top of what you just put inside, and then you put cream and your flavor, and you shake it for three minutes, and you magically have ice cream. I have no comment. I really don't. I mean, I don't know how that works. You put everything on t in, w in a bowl. Nothing is connected, so how does this work exactly? How does the ice... I'm overthinking this too much. Shake it to make it at a kid's birthday party. We ice cream! So we're going to ignore that th there's a cake. It's a birthday party, and you'd rather make ice cream than dig into the cake. That probably took three hours to make. I mean, that looks like a really well done cake, and you kids rather have really crappy ice cream. With ice cream magic, you can make it and take it anywhere! Yeah, sure, why not? Make some ice cream on a really hot beach area with oceans. At least, that's kind of what it looks like. I really don't know where that girl is. I've seen that commercial multiple times, so... I mean, it's alright. I've never tried it, but it looks alright. The people that act in it are... cheesy. I think it's decent. I mean, the, I don't know how the ice cream tastes, I've never had it, but it looks decent. So, I guess we should move on to the last infomercial, uh, what is it? The music vest. Alright, well, what, what's the music vest? <laughs> First there was the transistor radio, then the headphones, now there's music vest. The only fashion and personal sound systems currently sweeping the country. Music Vest is designed to provide you with high quality stereo music wherever you go, whatever the weather. With Music Vest's waterproof speaker system, you can enjoy your favorite music whether you're exercising, riding, golfing, fishing, or just hanging around. Music Vest is both elegant and versatile. Be the leader in your crowd. Order your Music Vest today. What was that? What was that? Is this what these people thought the future would be like? Cause wake up guys! That's not what we're like. We don't wear vests that have music coming out of us. We're not idiots. I also like how it's so much money and you can't buy it on stores, which means you physically have to go on the internet or call to buy it. Are these things even real? Like, are, are these irrelevant now? Because I don't see anybody wearing them. I might have seen them in cartoons, but... No! This is not a thing. This is not the next generation of music. This is... I don't know what that was. That was scary. That's what that was. That big-haired woman... Ah, she's... Who is she? Yeah, feels like she's staring into my soul. Well, I think that's enough. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever do that again. These infomercials are weird, crappy, and Jesus. Stupid. Just stupid. So, yeah, um, let's hear from you guys now, <laughs> in the comments. Tell me, what do you think is the most stupidest infomercial ever? Is it one of these? Do you have anything you want me to review next, whether it deals with television, movies, not infomercials, or things? Let me know in the comments, and also tell me what you want me to review next, and I might review it. Thanks for watching The Wild Review, I'm The Wild Reviewer, and I... I got chills now, I'm gonna go curl up in a ball.